Assalamu alaikum. What's up everyone? So I want to talk about different minor signs of the Day of Judgment that we can know about, we've seen before. But again, I want to talk about them and go maybe a little bit in depth of each one. Just different facts about it and how close are we really to again the Yom Yemen, Day of Judgment. And in Islam, why do we even believe in these different minor signs and what do they really mean? So again, I also want to talk about here and a little intro to the why I want to do this video. And again, for me personally, it's information. It's out there. It's something to know about and to contemplate and think about. And again, it in turn helped me personally have a stronger sense of Iman. It helped me get closer to my deen and my faith and my values. And it also let me see the society and where society is going. And it can give me some answers. So again, please feel free to again, skip through to see which one you really want to listen to or learn about. But again, for me personally, I'm going to talk about all of them here in this video. And I'm really looking forward to sharing with you guys. So thank you again. And here it is. Time will pass rapidly. This one is in Bukhari, Ahmed, and Muslim. And time will pass rapidly. So obviously, I remember watching videos talking about how time speeds up the older we get because we've gone through more experiences. So time feels as if it's going faster. But then in 2020, they actually did a study on the Earth and the span, the rotation, and said that this is the first year the Earth is moving a bit faster than it usually did. And it's such something in the milliseconds. It's not even super crazy. But to us as humans, it might seem like nothing. But what about the universe, the world? It's probably something intense. And in doing so, 2020 till now, that four-year gap happened like this. And again, granted, I know time goes by one by one when you're sitting in class, looking at the clock, thinking, oh, time is taking so long. But I genuinely feel it. I'm like, wow, like things are happening so fast. Time is cooking right now. What do you guys think about that one? The next one is that good deeds will decrease. Good deeds decreasing. So you're thinking, wait, are people going to be meaner? Are people going to be nastier to one another? Are people not going to be doing good things to one another? But nowadays, we live in such a hyper-individualistic society where we aren't even allowed to do good deeds to one another. Smiling at one another is a good deed. But when I walk around, I've noticed that people tend to smile less and less around where I'm at. And I tend to wonder as to why. So maybe this is already happening. Maybe good deeds are decreasing. And again, this is in Bukhari, and it talks about this. And it's saying things like people's good deeds are going to decrease more and more more. This is something to think about and I wonder what you guys think about it as well. Are good deeds decreasing? People become miserly. Why? Why are people going to be miserable? Why are people going to be so nasty to one another? And this is in Bukhari and I thought about this one and I was like, you know what? People are a little nastier to one another, especially after COVID. I started noticing people more and more are very impatient with one another. They're very rude. They're very nasty. I remember thinking in my head, wait a minute, already happening? Have people always been this way? But I believe again, because we're in this hyper individualistic society, because we're so me, 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 and so selfish, that this is happening right before our eyes. And people are becoming really miserable in life. Because again, look at the mental health crisis. Look at all the things going on in life. Look at the cost of living around the world. How much harder it is to survive. There's a reason for you to feel depressed. There's reasons for you to feel nihilistic about things. And again, it made me think about it. And it was like, I don't know. I think I agree. What do you think? There will be much killing and murder. And this is in Bukhari, Ahmed, Muslim. And it talks about this. And it says things like, there's going to be a lot of killing and murder that happens all over. But nowadays we see that people are getting exploited all over the world. People are dying all over the world. There's so much war and awful things that have been happening over the last how many years. So many people have been dying in so many different places around the world in genocides. In different genocides around the world. Different like slavery situations that are happening around the world. And it's happening as we see it. And it's happening more and more. I don't think it's going to stop anytime soon because we see it happening in front of us. And now it's even publicized so much. But who's really stopping it? We can't really stop everyone from doing the wrong thing. What do you guys think? Another one is that power and authority are going to be given to the wrong people. And this is in Bukhari. And all of us can look at this and say, you know what? This is a hundred, this is facts. Nowadays, look at who our presidents are around the world. Look at who our world leaders are. Look at who the time person of the year was. Are these people really the role models that we have? Are these people really the best of our people? No, they're definitely not. Why? They're making the worst decisions. They're selfish. They get private interest money get sent to them from people who they know there's a problem. For example, there's an organization in America that gets money to fund guns. Yet America has the worst school shooting epidemic happening day by day by day. And what happens? They are getting paid off. The politicians, the people who are representing us are taking money from them. People are taking money from states that are genociding innocent people and they're collecting millions and millions of dollars to stay hush hush about it. Power and authority being in the wrong hands. I see that happening. Even in like the 2016, 2014, 2018 elections, I remember seeing these nuts had 9% of the vote in North Carolina. 
Come on, people see there's a problem. I don't know, what do you guys think? Honesty will be lost, and this is in Bukhari, and obviously people lie all the time now. Now it's even easier to lie. People cap all the time. Even on the internet, it's cap. Even on social media, they cap. You can lie about anything. You can make AI things show that you're in this new area, that you're this perfect person, that you don't have a blemish on your skin, that this, that that. There's so many things. So again, honesty being lost, I see that happening. And it's not just happening in me lying to you directly. But again, lying about what? Again, like the imperfections, using filters. It's all these different things that you're theoretically lying about the way you look. You're lying about your lifestyle. You're lying about how happy you are. You can talk about whatever or online and say this is how you really feel, but you can feel the complete opposite. So realistically speaking, it's really interesting to think about this one or it's honesty being lost. I see that. What do you think? Here's a really interesting minor sign that I looked at and I really felt energy towards is it's the disappearance of knowledge and the increase in ignorance. And this is in Bukhari and Muslim. And to me, I thought about this and I was thinking, nowadays the internet has everything. There's so much knowledge on the internet. You can search and look for anything. For example, you're sitting here watching this video about some minor signs of the Day of Judgment but that's you. That's not every single person's experience. So there's so much content out there and again, negative content spreads more than positive content. So more and more times you're going to get the wrong content. People will lie about some things. It's happened. So the spread of ignorance is happening. Look at how people are living their lives. They're living a life in this ignorant world, but the truth is there. The truth is here, but people have to seek and search that truth. And alhamdulillah, people are becoming Muslim. People are seeing the truth and seeing things up in front of their eyes. But again, nowadays it's the spread of that ignorance. Ignorance is spreading like crazy. So I'm like, you know what? I think I see this one happening right before our own eyes. What do you guys think? A mountain of gold will be risen up and you'll be able to see it when the river of Euphrates dries up. And even in biblical and like Christians also believe this as well. And as Muslims, we believe it as well too. And we know not to take from the gold because if you take it from the gold, we know what happens. And it's crazy to think about. Like we look at different satellite images of the river, how it's drying up and it's okay, time out, time out. This is really happening right before our own eyes. And it's drying up as we see it. But again, we're gonna have a water crisis soon. And the reason why is because again, the world is not gonna be able to sustain the way we're treating it. And when you see this happening, you're like, you know what? I can't deny this, you know? It's like the truth is right in front of us. So what do you guys think about this one? So in Bukhari, it talks about the appearance of 30 false messengers, people that were going to be claiming to be Jesus, that are going to be like the prophet coming back. And I don't know if we've seen this yet. Again, it's 2024. I don't think this has happened personally. But again, we do have false prophets. People call themselves gods. People call themselves whatever. And theoretically, is that a false prophet? Is it not? Again, this one's again really up for discussion. So what do you think about it? Again, leave it in the comments below because maybe me think, you know what, do we have people who see themselves as that, who call themselves that, but are people who are saying that they're the next coming? I don't know. But again, this is one of the minor signs of the Day of Judgment. Another sign of the Day of Judgment is two large groups that believe in a similar religion or faith or value are going to be at war with each other, attack one another, and it's going to cause many casualties. And this is in Bukhari and Muslim as well. And with this one, I see it happening in different things where you could assume and think, okay, theoretically speaking, the Abrahamic religions have been warring with one another and have very similar values and beliefs, or it's going to be more specific within the Muslim community. I don't know. What Do you guys know personally more about this? I would love to know what you know about this as well. This is again one of the minor signs of the Day of Judgment. Another minor sign of the Day of Judgment is that earthquakes will increase. Anyone who's even tuned into the news at all knows that we have been having more and more earthquakes than ever. This has been having left and right, left and right. And it is really scary because Zalzala, earthquake in Arabic, we know this is going to happen. It's happening. So it is a little bit worrisome and it's a bit scary, but again, it's happening in front of us and it's one of those minor signs and we see that the world is starting to change in different ways. So what do you guys think? Leave some comments down below about it. Here's a really interesting minor sign is that wealth will become so abundant that it's going to be hard to find someone to give zakat to, to donate to. And I don't think we're there yet. So maybe this minor sign hasn't happened yet. But it was really interesting to think about because I was thinking in my head, wait a minute, there's going to be a time where everyone's going to be good. Everyone's going to be OK. How is that possible? How is everyone going to be so content to have everything if, again, no need for zakat. But then it made me think, what about the whole 2030 plan or whatever of oh nothing and be happy? Mm -hmm. Maybe. I don't know. What do you guys think? Again, I was curious about this. I wanted to dive deeper about it, but I don't know what you guys think about this as well. So again, leave in the comments below what you think as well. And I kind of want to see the discussions that kind of come out of this. Another sign of the day judgment is when people are competing in building tall buildings. And this one is like one that we all hear, we all know. And if you look around Dubai, you look at Egypt, you look at all these different countries in the Middle East, right? And I remember another form of this is again, when barefooted Bedouins are competing, people of the desert, they're building. We see it. Look at Dubai. It's just the number one example. They're building. So it went from Lily, sand, Sahara, desert, 
to these amazing, grandiose buildings. And it's crazy because we know that this is a thing. They're competing. The Burj Khalifa is this tall. Hey, let's make the one in Egypt a single floor taller to say we have the tallest structure. What? Come on. And it's like people are doing this and like they see the modern science. They even know about these modern science. How do they not see these modern signs? But they're still doing it anyways. What do you guys think? Another minor sign is a man will pass by a grave and wish that they were in their place. And this one kind of confused me a little bit. When I thought about it a little more, I was like, you know what? People always say, oh, kill me. Oh, I'm dead or this, or I wish I was this, or I wish I was, and I'm like, you wish you were dead? What? And people say this, oh, they're like, at least they don't have to pay bills. And they're like almost jealous of this person who has no life anymore who could be getting punished in the grave right now currently, who knows? But again, there is this word choice that people use nowadays is so negative and derogatory to their own soul and spirit. So I personally see it happening around me. Do you personally see this happening? And again, do you notice when people talk like this and get a little irked out about it? What do you think? Another minor sign is the conquest of Constantinople by the Muslims. And this is an Ahmadan Muslim. And this is really interesting because again, we know about the Ottoman Empire, you know about all these different types of people who can travel and take over different parts of the land. And is it gonna happen again? Is it gonna happen in the future? Who knows? What do you guys think? And if you guys are more informed about this than I, please leave the comment down below what you think as well. Another minor sign is that the consumption of intoxicants is gonna become widespread. And oh my days, is this one something that I 100% see in front of me. Everyone drinks, everyone smokes, everyone uses prescription pills. There's so much intoxications that happen throughout our entire world. People are addicted to so many different things. And it is really scary to see this because again, it becomes widespread. Where we're even seeing kids going to school in middle school getting high off carts. I'm thinking like, what? Like, that's insane. Like if we saw someone even smoking a cigarette when we were younger, we were like, why you're smoking a cigarette, what? But now kids are smoking weed, smoking carts, juuling in the bathrooms and schools. And this is insane, this is scary. But again, it shows how widespread this consumption of it is. Even in our shows and our media, Everyone's drinking, everyone's getting this, everyone's that, and it seems so normal, but it's not normal. To be intoxicated all the time like this is not normal. What do you guys think? Another minor sign is that adultery and fornication will become prevalent. This is in Bukhari and Muslim. And it's interesting because we see this happening. We see the sexualization of our society. It's so hypersexualized and it's happening all the time. In our media, in our shows, everything we go, everywhere we go, people are talking about having sex. People are talking about this, people are talking about that. And it's fornication, it's happening. People are doing it out of marriage. And it's not the same culture that it was even 50 years ago, 100 years ago. Again, less and less people are having religious strong values where they're maintaining that decency. But again, why? Because we're living in this hypersexualized society. People are almost persuaded and forced into doing this, talking about sexuality so early when there's so many more things that we should be talking about and focused on. So what do you guys think about this minor sign? A really interesting minor sign is that women and men will be at a disadvantage here. Well, it'll be 50 women for one man. And this is a really interesting one because then you read about this and you think about it, and it's 50 women, one man, like what does that mean? Is it really gonna be like where the population is that skewed? We're already skewed a little more to women than men. But then I start thinking about it a little more and a little deeper and thinking, okay, if our testosterone levels are falling so much, the plastic pollution is happening at this high level where it's insane. Oh my God, there's so much plastic in our water, these microplastics, that testosterone is falling. All the foods are destroying our testosterone. A lot of men aren't securing mates anymore. They're more, quote unquote, feminine. They don't have as much testosterone as they used to have. But then does this mean that they become less and less of a man more and more down the line? The generations what's going to happen? We don't really know. What are the side effects of all the things that we're consuming into our bodies now? Who knows? Is the atrazine in the water for the fertilizers? I remember there was a guy talking about this and he was saying, yeah, they did an idea with frogs and a lot of the frogs became women. So then it's, is this going to happen to the men of our society? If fast forward in a couple years, 50 years, 20 years, less? Who knows? But I did think this one was really interesting and I'm curious what you guys think as well about this minor side of day judgment. What do you guys think? Please leave it in the comments down below. Another minor sign is that people will cheat with goods. And again, this is obvious. We see it. It's already happening. People have been cheating for the test of time. People cheat how much weight they're giving you on the pound, the scale. People are going to cheat and say, oh, this is organic, but it's not. People say it's halal, but it's not. They just want the certification that they paid for. Even ingredients in our foods. How do we know what is in our food anymore? We really don't. And that is scary. And again, this is one of the minor signs that's happening in front of our own eyes. What do you guys think? Leave it in the comments down below. Another minor sign is that paying zakat is going to become a burden. People are going to be like miserable and to even want to donate is going to be, become such a chore. But this is really scary because it makes me think that it's just happening right now is going to be happening even more. And I know personally, like maybe in my struggles, people give zakat willingly and confidently, but the more and more giving is going to be hard is 
the more economic insecurities we have around the world. And it makes me think that maybe people are not able to give zakat as freely and genuinely because how tight their bills are, how tight everything is for the payments of what they do. So this is again, something else that I thought about. I was wondering, hmm, is this happening right now? What do you guys think? An interesting minor sign that I looked at is that leaders will not rule following the commands of Allah. And how many times even have we seen things of separation of church and state? Or how many times do we see Muslim leaders not following things that Allah has clearly forbidden for us? And we're seeing that all these world leaders around the world are going against whatever God had said. And we see happening in front of our own eyes. This is happening right now. And it's scary because you see it happening. It's okay, this makes sense because it's happening. If you said this even a couple hundred years ago, people really had a lot of respect for the church state not being separate and really ruling with the iron fist. But now you're seen as extremists if you're like that. So it goes to show, you know, this is happening before our eyes. What do you guys think? Leave it in the comments below. Another interesting minor sign is that the rich will be making all the profits and the poor will see none of it. And hey, what do we see about nowadays with our technology apps? What do we see about the data breaches? They use our data, but we get no data check in the mail. This is interesting because again, we've had people say, hey, like our data is being sold, but we're not seeing a cent of it. How is that fair? The rich are seeing a share of all these gains that are happening in society, but the poor don't see it. The poor are being exploited. So what do you guys think about this minor sign? Leave some ideas down below in the comments. I'm curious to hearing about it. An interesting minor sign that I think is hysterical is that a leader of people will become the worst of them. And it's funny in multiple ways where one, obviously any president we've had, any leader, world leader, whatever it is, they're all terrible. Most of them are all corrupt. You want to vote blue or red? They're both corrupt. Welcome to the party. It sucks. You can't find someone that's authentic, that's genuine, that's really riding for the people because that's not who is getting the votes. The votes are coming from the money, the money, the money, chasing the money, follow the money, see where the money's coming from. Oh, it's the same party, red, blue, don't matter. It's all the same. They all want the same thing, the money. So again, the leader of the person being the worst, that kind of makes sense. Even when it comes down to like influence and people who are like leaders of the like organizations or these people, they're also corrupt. They only care about themselves. And it's interesting because to get to that level, a lot of times you got to step on necks. And to be the leader of that means that you're the leader of people stepping on necks. So what do you guys think about this one? Another interesting minor sign is that trust will be used to make a profit. And I thought about this one a little bit and I was, didn't really understand what it meant, like a trust will be used. But again, it's like, when you believe someone, you have trust, you're believing this person that will give you profit, you're believing this to do this. Even if you think of venture capital, you think of all these people investing in this and that to make the profit, it's you're trusting the news about this product, but this product is theoretically doing what? Even look at the whole cryptocurrency game, how many times people are saying, oh, it's trustworthy, it's safe, it's this, there are guys talking about it, we work on it really hard, invest here, invest there. Even people who are saying, yeah, invest in the stock, invest in the stock, but they bought calls, you invest, you they make money, they sell off, they made money, you lose money. So people are using trust to make money. That's, that's how I've interpreted it. What do you guys think about this minor sign? Let me know in the comments. This minor sign is intense. It's when a man obeys his wife, but disobeys and disrespects his mother and respects and listens to his friend, but shuns his father. And this is happening 100%, 100%. I cannot not agree with you. You know what I mean? It's just, you see it happening in front of you where people will sit there and be simps to their wives and then be mad rude to their moms. I'm like, yo, you're cursing at your mom? Would you say that to your wife? They're like, no, I wouldn't say that to her. Yeah, she, she had my head. I'm like, your mom birthed you into this world. You're being disrespectful to you. The woman who carried you for nine months? That's insane to me. And I've seen the per one of them, dad, shut up, man, blah, blah, all this stuff. And I'm like, yo, you're still talking to your dad that way? But like, you wouldn't talk to your friend that way? That's crazy. And I, hey, this is happening in brain farber eyes. So this minor sign, I see it, I'm like, yikes. What do you guys think? Another minor sign is that voices will be raised in the mosque. And I thought about this one and I was like worried about this because I thought about it deeper and I was like, are people gonna be yelling at each other in a mosque? Using it as a mosque a place to squash beef? It's crazy to me. Personally, I've not seen it at any of my mosques. But again, if this happens around, probably does. So it got me thinking like, wow, people are gonna use it as a worship place, a place of a love, a place to be together brothers, and a place to squash beef or yell at each other. And that to me was insane. What do you guys think? Leave it in the comments below. Another interesting minor sign is that people will treat a man with respect out of a fear of what he might do. And I thought about this one, and I feel like this one's probably been happening, honestly. It's happening for a while. Where people give people this sense of respect in class and, yes, sir, anything for you, sir, yes, master, yes, boss. Because out of respect, they're giving him respect out of what he might do. 
he might fire them. He might hurt them. He might abuse them. And that is scary. That's happening. And people get abused all the time in relationships because of this. Because they're only respecting this person because of fear. But you should not have to respect someone out of fear. There needs to be respect out of someone because you respect their character, their morals, their ethics, their values. That's why you respect them. Not because they're making you scared and forcing you to respect them and fear them. You know, that's something that I see happening. What do you guys think? Leave it in the comments. Another minor sign of the day, judgment. Men will begin to wear silk. So again, in Islam, wearing silk as a man is haram. Even wearing a lot of gold and jewelry is also seen as haram. But we see that wearing gold now, they're doing studies on it that actually lowers testosterone. And men wearing silk, it is seen that again, it's haram to wear it in this world because again, it's beautification of yourself. And as a man, there shouldn't be a sense of beautifying yourself that way. So again, Allah knows best. I don't know best. So again, I just follow it because I understand that, you know what, if a lot of these other things are right, then you know what, I'm going to be pretty correct. So again, I don't choose to wear silk either. But again, you start to see like, Nowadays, a lot of men are wearing silk. A lot of men are painting their nails. A lot of men are doing these things. So when you start seeing all these different things happen, you're like, you know what? This modern science is happening right before our own eyes. What do you guys think? Another modern sign is that female singers and musical instruments have become wildly popular. And again, nowadays, some of the biggest musical artists are women. But again, nowadays in our society in 2024, what are some of the biggest female artists and what are they doing? They're basically women who are stripping their bodies, wearing nothing, twerking on stage, and also saying music and lyrics. So we see that that's where our society is going and this is a minor sign that's happening. So it's again, another interesting thing to talk about. And again, musical instruments being prevalent, again, we were seeing that as a Satan's way of distracting us. And then you look at studies and things about music, what else the brain and what it impacts and how it impacts us and the word and some little messages happening. It's really interesting because it's chaotic. There's so many studies that show how chaotic music is to our soul, our spirit and our brain waves, but how Quran and the event is so calming and so stationary. It doesn't go up and down the way music does. So again, that's an interesting thing to think about. What do you guys think? Another minor sign is when the last of the people are cursing the first ones. And I'm assuming it's talking about Islamic where it's the last of the Muslims would be cursing the first ones. But to be cursing the first ones, why are they cursing them? I personally don't really understand this one too much, but I, if I had to inference on something, it's understanding that maybe the rules are too hard, what they did are too hard. Maybe like oh, everything in Sahih Bukhari or the message or the stories that they told were hard to follow. Or they were cursing them saying, oh, they made us do this, they made us do that. So who knows? Or they're cursing them saying, you put us down this path. Who knows? What do you guys think? If you guys have any other inferences about this, I'd love to know what you guys think as well. Another interesting minor sign of the day, judgment. The nations of earth who gather against the Muslims the same way the hungry people gather around where there's a lot of food. And this will occur when the Muslims are a large number, but like the foam of the sea. So personally, I didn't really understand this one too much. So I'd love if someone dove in and talked about it a little more. And again, foam in the sea is because it's just on the surface. It's not like deep about it. When it talks about the Muslims are like the foam in the sea. I really didn't understand this one too much. But again, I wanted to say it out loud again to like know what you guys thought. And I would love to hear what you guys think about this one as well. Another minor sign is that the Muslims will conquer Jerusalem. And this is in Bukhari. And obviously we understand that the Palestine-Israel conflict that's going on we know and understand that, hmm, hold up. Inshallah, one day, Jerusalem will be free. Where again, it's the land of Muslims. Abrahamic religions is from Jerusalem. So Islam, Muslims, will conquer Jerusalem. And as we see like the political state of the world when it comes to this, it makes sense as to this might be happening, inshallah, one day. And it goes to show even when Isa, Jesus, ends up going to be like part of the, with the man Mahdi and fighting the Jal. So again, in our prophecies in Abrahamic religion, it's that is like a very core concept. So hey, makes sense. What do you think? And if you know something about this that I don't, please again, feel free to leave it in the comments. Another minor sign is that a great plague will spread over the land. It may be in reference to the plague of Amwas. And again, this was like years and years and years ago. But again, nowadays we see that plagues are happening more and more. And a lot of the times people talk about the ice caps melting. And that the most dangerous thing about that is not only the rising sea levels, but potential dormant things that are going to happen that could end up killing us because of what is frozen, what diseases, what bacteria, et cetera, et cetera. So this kind of does make sense. And it could be referencing something that's already been happened, but it could have something in the future where something could happen as well. What do you guys think? Another minor sign in Ahmed and Bukhari is that wealth will increase so much that if you give someone 10,000, that they won't be content with it. And this is interesting because nowadays we're watching the wealth disparity go more and more and more and more, and the rich get richer and the poor get poorer. And even nowadays, $10,000, 10,000 10, Egyptian pounds, 10,000 rupees, 10,000 whatever, is starting to become more and more less valuable. So again, what is the worth of 10,000? And even if someone were to give you 10,000, it might help you here and there, but realistically speaking, 10,000 isn't gonna make you content. 
But imagine 10,000 in the 1900s, it's gonna make you content. You could buy multiple houses for that cost. So it goes to show that, oh snap, like we're gonna keep entering this inflation period and where like extreme inflation, hyperinflation is gonna be happening more and more. And it's not like it's gonna slow down anytime soon. So again, because things are becoming more devalued, we do what off the gold currency, but nothing's backed by gold. It's gonna get more and more and more backed by what? Just paper? So again, it's interesting to see that in one of the minor signs, it talks about this. What do you guys think? Another minor sign is that a trial will appear in Arabia, which I'm assuming like the Arab lands or, or Saudi Arabia, and that no family will be able to survive this trial. And this is scary, and it's in Hamad and Bukhari. And it's interesting because in the future, we don't even know where the world is really gonna be going exactly, but what is this trial? I don't believe this trial has happened, but who knows what this trial is gonna be? So again, it goes to show that in a lot of these minor signs, it talks about how society is going to crumble or there's going to be trials and tests and where everyone's going to fail this test. What it is, we don't know. But again, it's the understanding of, okay, something's going to be happening soon. So what do you guys think about this one? Here's a minor sign that I honestly have no idea what it's referring to. And if anyone knows about it, please let me know. It is a treaty that's going to be made between Westerners and Muslims, and it'll be about 12,000 people in an army and under 80 banners. I don't know exactly what that's referring to, but I don't know how many people are in the UN. I don't know how many people are in these different organizations around the world. The World Health Organization, is it 80 banners? What is the 80 banners? What coalition is this 80 banners going to be representing? And this 12,000 army, where is that going to be at? So again, I don't know this one exactly. It's in Bukhari, but I don't really know how to explain this one because I don't know too much about it. What do you guys think? What do you guys know about this? Again, leave it in the comments if you know about this and can inform me as well. Another minor sign is that books and writing is going to be widespread, but religious knowledge is going to be low. And it's interesting because even nowadays we notice that there's so many textbooks, knowledge, libraries, where you can look at there's so many books over and over and over, but less and less people are reading scripture, less and less people are going to churches, less and less people are actually going to these religious organizations. So it makes you wonder, okay, so people are diving into books, diving into audio books, diving into all these things, but are they reading scripture anymore? Are people going to churches? Are people going to places of worship as much? So again, even that's even right now. So I can see this minor sign already unfolding right before our eyes, which is pretty interesting. What do you guys think? Here's a minor sign that is really interesting. It is that people are gonna be whipping each other with tails of oxen. And when you think about this, it could be in reference to the slave trade. Again, slavery or indentured servitude was happening all throughout history, but it was never about hurting them or abusing them. Even in Islamic slavery, when you talk about people who were Muslim and had slaves, in Bukhari and different things, it always talks about slavery, but when it describes it, it almost sounds like you're giving them a wage still. You're giving them the same house you live in, same food you eat out of. So. What it talks about, it almost makes it feel like it's indentured servitude more or like a job. Because nowadays, it's how it's treated, which is a little, again, side note, but pretty interesting. And it almost references the slave trade because, again, that's crazy, like future reference of it. Because, again, when America and obviously Europeans had slaves, this was when they started abusing people, like hurting them. And how old they do? What we see in all these films, movies, and stories and different writings that we see is that they whipped them. And they whipped them like they were an animal. They saw them as subhuman. So it's interesting that one of the minor signs that was written in Muslim literally predicts and talks about the eventual slave trade, which again was pretty interesting. What do you guys think about this minor sign? Another minor sign of the Day of Judgment is that children will be filled with rage. And this is in Brani and Al-Hakim. And this is interesting because children being filled with rage, what do we see nowadays? Even when we play video games, kids are on there screaming and yelling and screaming and doing all the craziest things. How many kids now talk back to their parents like nothing? They become foul, potty mouths, and they're so angry. But then even if you think about it as children overall, so why are they mad? There's a shorter concentration attention span where it's like they're only focusing on things that they want. They want. They feel temper tantrums even more now than back before. There's so many more distractions, so many things that they want to that they don't want to be doing otherwise. How many kids nowadays do this? And again, it comes down to the parenting systems. Again, now parenting systems are becoming way, way less effortless. Okay? People don't stay at home and raise the kids as much as they used to. So it goes show like kids being filled with rage and multiple factors that could be associating with this. And that's just interesting to me because even when you think of children, when you think of even kids, how many kids nowadays are going to be growing up in a society where they start learning about it, even as a teenager or early, like a young adult, you start realizing like, the world is not going to be set up for us to succeed as much as people get boomers, millennials, and etc. So it's interesting to see like children be filled with rage. What do you guys think about this minor sign? Another interesting minor sign of the day of judgment in the Bran al-Hakim is that children will be foul. When I thought about this, I was like, wait, children being foul? Like how nowadays, how many kids just swear like crazy? How many kids see things on social media and all these things and are rapping the most like disgusting songs? And it's even more than when we saw when we were younger. So it's interesting to see like this growth of it and how much worse is it potentially going to get? So it's a pretty interesting minor sign. 
What do you guys think about this one? Another interesting minor sign of the day of judgment in Hakim is that women will conspire. I was thinking about this one. I was thinking, okay, don't men also conspire? Why is it specifically women will conspire? What are they conspiring about? What are some things that you think that are the quote unquote women going to be conspiring about? And some things I thought of just thinking about it a little bit, I was thinking, okay, what about if there's catfishing? What about if there's people who get married to then divorce and make the money? And there's different things that women can do in the society now that allow them to basically take advantage of their circumstances. So I was like, maybe that's what it's talking about. I personally don't know. I was just thinking, what could it be? But again, that's one of the minor sides of the day of judgment. What do you guys think? Let me know what you think in the comments. Another interesting minor sign of the day of judgment is that rain will be acidic or burning. And this is also in the Tabrini and Hakim. And it was really interesting because we know about acid rain. It's a thing. It happens because of the chemicals we're putting in the ocean, because of obviously the water cycle and how it obviously goes in. Everyone knows about the water cycle. It's interesting because again, when it evaporates and then goes up in the clouds and the clouds rain it down, they're obviously it's taking whatever was in the water when it evaporates it. But again, if all the chemicals, the microplastics, the different chemicals that we're dumping into the oceans, all these different things, it's interesting to think, wait a minute, like this is happening already and it's already happened. So again, it's another minor sign where it's, oh snap, like, that this is happening. What do you guys think about this minor sign of day judgment? Another interesting minor sign of the day judgment in Tabrini al-Hakim is that children of fornication will become widespread. And what does this mean? So again, people basically being out of wedlock, having children. And this happens all the time now. And some people even get married because they had a kid together. But again, it's because again, premarital sex is becoming more and more prevalent in our all of our societies. So it's really interesting to see that again, a minor sign of day judgment from years and years and years and years ago is coming true as we see in front of us. And it's interesting because what did God protect us from when he says that premarital sex is haram? So it's interesting because then a lot of times that's happens with broken households. People have a baby mama, a baby daddy. So it's interesting to see like how it talks about the minor sign that it's going to happen, but then how in most Abrahamic religions, it talks about this thing being a problem. So it's interesting to see how we were given the warning signs of what could be a trouble, what could happen that's incorrect, but then how God wanted to protect us, but we obviously go against that with our own free will and do whatever we want. So it's interesting to see how that kind of worked out. What do you guys think? Another interesting minor sign of the day judgment is in Ahmed. And it talks about that death will become sudden. People will die suddenly. So it's really interesting to think about, wait a minute, wait a minute. I've seen recent articles where random healthy athletes are just dropping dead or having heart attacks, all these different things. And it's scary because you start thinking, is it what's in our bodies? What's in our nutrition? What's in our waters? What's in this? What's in that? It's all these different things that we put into our bodies that we don't even know what's happening. And who knows what this really is going to mean. But again, that's just a little theory I might have of things that could be happening. But again, like these minor signs coming in as showing us that sudden death will happen more often. It's pretty scary and pretty interesting, but it's also, wow, like, this is something that's going to be happening in our society. So what do you guys think about this one? Another interesting minor sign of day of judgment is that brethren will be buddy-buddy in public, but enemies behind closed doors. There will be people that are brethren in public, but enemies behind closed doors. Enemies in the secret. So it's interesting because then it goes to show, wait a minute, how often does that happen where people are two-faced, people are fake, even more so now, where they fear each other, right? They, in politics or in the world stage, right, where they become shake hands, right? But realistically, they both fear one another. And in public, they're all ha 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 shaking hands and all hello, hello. But behind closed doors, they're enemies. So again, it's keep your friends close to enemies closer type energy. And we all see how this happens even in friendships where sometimes some people are two-faced, some people are fake, some people talk behind your back. There's like back way that goes on. It's, oh, but they see you in public. Oh, I love it. I love it. And it's, wait a minute, time out. This minor sign is pretty interesting to think about because I can see how where this is going and how this is already sort of happening. What do you guys think about this minor sign of the day of judgment? Another interesting minor sign of the day of judgment is that people will walk into the marketplace with their thighs exposed. And I didn't really understand this one at first, but then the more and more you look into Islam and what's haram, what's halal is an interesting thing is people think of the hijab as, oh, it's just a headscarf. But the hijab isn't theoretically just the headscarf, but it's the modest clothing. It's covering the bosoms, covering the butt, it's covering your hair, your head. But again, the headscarf itself was common in most cultures and religions and societies until the 1950s. If you look at a 1900s video of basically the colorization of it from then or like the slow moving videography that did exist then, most of the women are wearing, again, very modest clothing. They're wearing basically hijabs, headscarves. And it's interesting to see this way. But the men also have a hijab in our society and in Islam. But people don't tend to know it. But again, it's you can't have anything above your knee exposed. So again, your thighs exposed. But nowadays it's so promoted. Oh, show off your legs, show off your thighs. And then maybe you think, wait a minute, this is happening in front of our eyes and that most people don't hold themselves to that standard. So it's interesting to see this. What do you guys think about this minor sign of the day of judgment? Another interesting minor sign of the day of judgment is that people would traverse or travel 
large distances in a very short amount of time. But look what we have nowadays. We've got cars, airplanes, trains. So again, imagine having to take a horse or walking from even New York to New Jersey. You're going not that far, but that'll take you a trip. That takes hours of walking. If you're on horseback, it takes hours too, no matter where you're going. So again, those methods of transportation were so much slower. But now you can take a car and be there in 30 minutes, hour. You can take a train, be there in 30 minutes, hour. So it's interesting to see, again, these minor signs become becoming in front of us, like in coming into fruition. What do you guys think about this? Another interesting modern sign of the day of judgment is the people of Arne will be getting no food or shelter resources from the Romans, Europeans. And this is a Muslim. And it's interesting because this is already happening in front of us. Again, does the European powers of the EU really help the Middle East like that? Not really. They attack them and they cause problems in those areas. So it's interesting again to see another modern sign becoming factual in front of us, but right before our eyes. What do you guys think about this? Another interesting modern sign of the day of judgment is that people will hop between the clouds and the earth. And again, what do we know about airplanes? It's what it sounds like, like people will hop between the clouds and the earth. We're flying around the world. If you have the resources, you can literally fly from place to place to place like nothing. So it's really interesting to see, whoa, like this is really intense. What do you guys think about this minor sign of the day of judgment? Another interesting minor sign of the day of judgment is that singers will become super common and super prevalent. And this is really interesting because even nowadays, when you look at like the saturation of how many people are rappers, singers, artists, and it's a lot. So because the saturation is so high, it's again, super common. And this is again, like a career choice that people go into and a lot of people go into it, whether they're talented or not. And again, because it's a very viable source of income nowadays. So again, it's interesting to see again, that minor sign become prevalent. What do you guys think about this? Another interesting minor sign of the day of judgment is that people will dance late into the night. What do we know about the club culture? What do we know about partying? What do we know about bars? This is happening already. So it's interesting to see that again, one of the minor signs of the day of judgment was that people will dance late into the night. And could you imagine 14 years ago, 13 years ago, 1,000 years ago, even people doing that? It sounds interesting to think, wait, dancing late into the night, club life, night life? Pretty interesting. What do you guys think about this one? Another really interesting minor sign of the day of judgment is in Abu Dawood. And it's people will read the Quran and say they follow the Quran, but then reject the Hadith and Sunnah. This is really interesting because it's happening right now. There's so many times where I'll be interacting with someone like, oh, this is haram because of this. And like, oh, that's not in the Quran, so I don't believe it. Then I'm thinking, what do you mean? It's literally told that in the Quran to listen to what the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, had said. Now, obviously, there's authentic hadiths versus non-authentic hadiths, and it's, again, just so many different hadiths and different stories, so it's not 100% written fact, but most of them are pretty much guaranteed. Again, it's follow the hadith and sunnah, and then there's sunnahs in Islam that you do that are basically standard things. So it's interesting to see that nowadays people are like that, where they only say they follow the Quran and Quran only, but not the hadith and sunnah. But again, the Quran is 97% morals and ethics and 3% rules. So theoretically speaking, where are you going to get some of your rules, your stories? Again, in those stories that you get in hadith, in say Bukhari, Muslim, all the different places, you're going to be learning, wait, okay, this is harm because of this. This is the story from the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. This is something that happened within this relation. This is what happened between this organization. This is a question someone had asked. So again, make sure you try to follow the sunnah and hadith as well and not buy into what this minor sign is basically saying most people are going to do. Interesting. What do you guys think about this? Another really interesting minor sign of the Day of Judgment is an Al-Hatimi. And it literally says that people will believe in the stars. And I know exactly what this is talking about. You know what this is talking about. It's talking about astrology. People believing in their horoscopes. And it is insane to me because it's like, how are you going to have this broad statement be the thing that you believe in by yourself 100%? T.T. Barnum talked about this. And it's like these broad statements that don't actually exist. You're just imagining that, yeah, that, that's accurate because it's so broad that you can fit that into your life. You can be like, oh, you're going to have some emotional distress today. Everyone goes through emotional distress, right? People go through emotions every day. So it's just like, come on, like people believing in the moon and the stars and Mercury retrograde. Like, listen, the only thing that's in control of your life is you and God. That's it. But again, it's hard to explain that to people. It's hard to explain that there is an energy in the universe that is there. And it's not the moon and the stars. Because again, the creator created the moon and the stars. That's just something I'd be interested about. I see it. What do you guys think about this one? Another really interesting minor sign of the day of judgment is that people will reject God, the free will, like the destiny that Allah has written for us. People will reject it. So people will reject the things that happen. They'll reject, oh, this is happening to me because this, this, oh, this, screw this, screw that. But again, you have to understand that things do happen in life. You have to live with it believe it, but then you can change your destiny when you change yourself, you change your actions, you make do'a for it. But again, it's interesting to see people really feel like they can live forever. They can download their brains into computers and then live forever. They're trying to change their destiny. They're trying to change their culture. Again, only Allah controls those things. So again, pretty interesting to think about it. What do you think about it? Another really interesting modern sign of the day of judgment is that smog will appear above cities due to the evil that they're doing. 
And this one is nuts to me because I remember like maybe two years ago, I watched like an article and I was reading, watching the video in, within the article. And it was literally talking and showing us how California had that red, like scary smog over their city. And everyone's like, oh my God, looks like these crazy shows that you watch and how like end times or whatever and all this crazy thing. I'm like, oh God is mad, right? But then it was interesting because I've read another article go corresponding to it. And I was explaining that like a day or two before then, they had passed as like the consent laws to be like for 12 to 14 year olds is consent or something like that in California. And I was like, oh my days, maybe God is mad. Because again, and it talks about it a minor sign of the day judgment where that's the small will appear above the cities because of the evil that they're doing. And anyone with decency is gonna know that 12 year olds to 14 year olds age of consent, that's not decency when it comes to the society. Because again, it's a lot different now when it comes to this. What do you guys think about it? Another really interesting minor sign of the day of judgment is that people will be carrying on with their businesses, but you will be trustworthy. And think about this, even in advertising, even in all these different things, how many of these businesses are actually advertising the product properly, actually being up to a standard? Nowadays, everything is made so cheaply and is like getting shrinkage in what we're getting. Even with the whole inflation thing and like shrinkflation where now products that you're paying more for, you're getting less of the product in it. Again, so many people are dishonest in business. People are always trying to make a flip on someone. People are always trying to finesse someone. And that's interesting because most people that do business nowadays, they do this because all they care about is their profit margin and not about their realness, not the authenticity. It was more rare to find people who are authentic and real and honest in business than not. Because again, people always talk about this, but it's, oh, there's no ethical way to become a billionaire. There's no ethical way to do it, mostly. Again, some maybe are, maybe not, who knows. But again, it's really interesting to see this as a minor sign, and it's, again, happening right before our eyes. What do you guys think about this? Another really interesting minor sign of the day of judgment is that people will be attempting to make the desert green. And it's interesting because, again, I always watch YouTube videos and stuff, and I remember watching how the Sahara used to be, like, basically, like, a Greenland. Because, again, it was just the cycles of where the moon is and the water, the high tides, et cetera, et cetera, and, like, how much rain is actually hitting this environment. But nowadays, we see man-made green patches in the Sahara to help grow crops. But, again, then you're seeing rain in Saudi Arabia, and then trees and things are growing, like a meadow is growing. And it's really interesting to see this. Okay, this is happening. Why? Because of climate change and all these different things that are happening to our climate due to our own doing. So people are not only creating things, again, like within the desert to, again, have greenery and water that's constantly watering in the desert and attempting to make it green so that it can be having arable land. And not only that, but then we're also contributing to climate change as well. That's pretty interesting to me. What do you guys think about this minor sign? Another interesting minor sign of the day of judgment, and this is in Muslim, is that women will appear to be naked, but be dressed. And this is interesting because when you think of tight clothing, leggings, skins, all that tight things on them, if you really see their entire figure of their body. So it's interesting because you know what they would look like naked because you literally see how skin tight all this clothing is, which I thought was pretty interesting. And then it talked about how these women will be led astray and will lead other women astray. So it makes me realize that the more common it becomes around different cultures, different things where women will dress this certain way, it's oh, okay, so clearly it's a problem within most Abrahamic religion, most religions, most cultures, where there needs to be a sense of decency and modesty. And obviously nowadays in our society, we can see it for our eyes, it's happening regardless whether we like it or not. And again, no judgment here because again, I'm not the judge of anyone, but you do see it in front of you happening even in men and women. So again, it's pretty interesting to see what do you guys think about this minor sign. Another interesting minor sign of the day of judgment is Ahmed. And it's interesting because I have no idea what this one really exactly means, but it's saying that there will be a special greeting between people of distinction. I don't really know what this means. Maybe it's if you know, you know kind of thing. I don't know. What do you guys think about this? If you guys know more information about this, please feel free to leave it in the comments because again, I don't know exactly what it's referring to, but this is again, another minor sign of the day of judgment. Another really intense minor sign of the day of judgment in Ahmed is that wild animals will be able to communicate with humans. And this one was really interesting to me because I thought of two different things. First off, I know you guys have seen those TikToks of Bunny the dog that's literally talking to her owner. And it's like, Bunny, why dog? And it's pressing buttons in order. Bunny, bathroom. And it's like, respond to the human with this like button thing. And I'm like, okay, is this kind of cow that these wild animals are talking to humans? Or is it gonna be like the Neuralink chip where you put Neuralink in like a monkey or they or any of these different animals and they're literally communicating with you? Or is it monkeys are doing sign language? I don't know. Like it's all these different things where what is this minor sign really referring to? But hey, who knows what exactly what it means? But it's pretty interesting to have sort of on some of these theories. What are some of your theories? Leave it in the comments. I would love to hear what you guys think as well. Another minor sign of the day of judgment in Ahmed is that a man will leave home, leave his dwelling, and his hip will tell him what's going on at home. And then you think about it, a phone, we already put it on our thigh or hip. 
So it's really interesting to think that, wow, one of the modern signs of the day, judgment, was literally talking about cell phones. And how would have someone known so many years ago that this would be something that happens? Again, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, basically predicted this. And it's interesting to think, oh snap, this has already been happening in front of us. What do you guys think about this? Leave it in the comments below. Another interesting modern sign of the day of judgment in Ahmad is that there will be years of deceit in where the truthful person telling the truth is not believed and the liar is believed. And this will happen. And I'm thinking in my head, okay, how can this go? But how many times do we see things like judges giving a false sentence of 15 years to someone because someone lied about, oh, they did this to me, they did this to me, and then they got booked. Now they're 15 years in jail, but then they find out 15 years later evidence that shows them that they weren't lying the whole time and they get freed. So again, this has sort of already been happening in our society already. So it's pretty interesting. What do you think about this? Another interesting minor sign of the day of judgment in that Hathami and, and Ahmad is that bearing false witness will be widespread. Again, how many false witnesses are there? How many times are there basically false witnesses happening or people lie about things? Oh yeah, yeah, that happened, but really they know it didn't happen. They're just trying to put this person in jail. Because again, corrupt systems, corrupt politics, corrupt justice system. So again, this is happening right before our eyes currently. And we know this is happening. What do you think about this minor sign? Another interesting minor sign the day of judgment in Hathami is that men will lie with men and women will lie with women. Obviously, we see that the increase of the LGBTQ community is growing. And again, as someone who isn't part of that community, I can sit there and understand people have desires, people have urges, and people are born this way. And we believe that that is their test from Allah to remove those urges. Someone can have the urge to kill. Someone can have the urge to this, urge to that. There's so many urges and desires that you want, but you don't act on it because it's not right. But again, that's if you believe in or part of the test that Allah has given you. If that's how you want to live your life, live your life that way. No one's saying anything. But it's interesting to think that, again, one of the minor signs of the judgment is that that will happen more widespread. And if you look at any statistics, you notice that it's going up and up and up. We notice that we're talking about sexual education super early, where kids are literally in fourth grade, third grade, talking about, do you want to change your gender? What does a third grader know about changing their gender? You wouldn't allow your third grader to get a tattoo, so why are you allowing them to change their gender? And some different things where it's like they're born with both. They're intersex. There's different medical things that are happening. Yes, that makes sense to me. But it's really interesting when it's like promoted, it's pushed upon the communities. And again, do it as it what you will, do whatever you want to do. But it's interesting that the minor sign talks about this as well. Another really interesting minor sign of the day of judgment in Ahmed is that trade will become so widespread that the wife or the woman will have to help her husband in business. And it was really interesting because nowadays, say you're the man of the house, you work in, how hard is it to work by yourself and make enough income to support your family? So the woman has to work too because of, again, the income disparity that's happening to us because it's forcing everyone to have to work. And then what happens to the kids when they go to school? This teaches them the school, raises them. And again, it creates more diversion between a controlled nuclear family. And again, it's interesting because it has to happen. And it's nothing wrong with the woman or the man working there, whoever it is, but it's the fact that some women are forced to work now because of society. And again, if you want to be a woman who works or a man who works, yeah, go for it. But again, a lot of women don't want to do that. They want a man who can just support them and they can just raise the family and do their thing. But again, they can't even do that if they wanted to because how hard it is to not both be working in a job in a family to help the family. Interesting. What do you guys think about this minor sign? Another interesting minor sign of the Day of Judgment in Ahmed, a woman will enter the workforce based on her love for the world. And it's interesting because again, nowadays we see this where people are like, oh, I want to focus only on my career. Screw having kids. Screw this. Screw that. It's me and my bag and this and that. I want to live my life, travel around the world. You know what? Do your thing. Everyone can do whatever they want. But it's interesting because it's in a minor sign talking about this that women will choose the dunya, this world, over the next. They'll choose this world to so make the money, get that bag, sis, and not create a family. And again, it's happening more and more, statistically speaking. Everyone can do whatever they want. Who cares? But it's happening in our statistics where we're having less and less kids. There's a population decline in the Western countries which is, again, really interesting. And a lot of videos talk about this. A lot of people talk about this where, say you're 70, you're 80, you're lying on your deathbed. Who's there for you? You have no grandkids, no kids, no one there to take care of you. And it's, oh, who's going to take care of you? What did you do in this life but make money? You go on a bunch of trips. There's no legacy. There's no building a community, a family. And that is when you look back on and think, wow, me as a one person had two, three kids. They had two, three kids. And now look, these 70 kids, these 70 people underneath you because of you having kids. So again, that is leaving a legacy, building something and doing something pretty amazing. So again, it's interesting to see kind of two different perspectives. What do you guys think about this? Another interesting modern sign of the Day of Judgment in Tabrani and Hakim is that arrogance will increase in this world. And nowadays, that's all we see. Everyone cares about themselves. Everyone is so selfish. Everyone stares at their phone, stares at pictures of themselves all the time. Always making sure they look good, they this, the way they put their image on the internet, the way this, the way that. People feel the sense of pride and success and they're the best, they're this, they're that. And it's, again, this hyper-individualistic society where everyone's only thinking about themselves. 
What do you guys think about this minor sign of the day of judgment? Another interesting minor sign of the day of judgment, Ahmed, is that family ties will be cut. And it's really interesting because nowadays, more and more, people are like disbanding from family. There's not the sense of the nuclear family. Everyone goes and lives alone all by themselves in a new family they create. And all his family ties just get cut off, cut off, cut off. And it's happening more and more in our society that we see. People are more and more lonely. People are having less and less overall nuclear families. So it's pretty interesting to see that this minor sign is happening right in front of us. What do you think about this? Another interesting minor sign of the Day of Judgment is that women will be of childbearing age, but will no longer want to have children. And it's interesting because not only are they not having children because A, we can't afford to have children sometimes because again, how hard they have to work to support their lives, their own personal life. But again, it's also interesting that people are getting married less. People are having less kids because again, people have love for this world. So they care more about this world and doing what they want to do and having freedom and living the life they want to live in this world. Because again, they choose this world. They're not choosing the afterlife. They, all they care about is this world. And again, granted, some people just can't have kids. They're just emotionally not ready to have kids. They can't have kids. That happens. But again, statistically speaking, more and more are not having kids that used to that are of childbearing age. And that's what the minor sign is talking about. What do you guys think about it? If you have any comments about this or know different statistics things that I might not know, again, leave it in the comments. I'd love to read about it. Another minor sign of the day of judgment is that there will be an abundance of food with no blessing in it. And it's interesting because when I first thought about this, I was like, what does that mean? Because not halal or this, this, this. But now I was like, wait a minute, abundance of food, no blessing in it, could be halal. But I also thought about this, fast food. Isn't fast food basically an abundance of food with no blessing in it? Everyone always looks at those things like, oh, we're eating horse meat, we're eating donkey meat, we're eating this meat. Who knows what's in the meat at all these fast food places? Who knows? The plastic content, what it looks like. Again, there's no blessing in it because is it really food? Is it really an authentic form of whatever you're eating? Is it really 100% beef? Is it really 100% white meat chicken? But again, it's interesting to think about this because, again, it was a minor sign and now we're seeing it happen right before our eyes. What do you guys think? Another interesting minor sign of the day of judgment is that people will refuse food. And I didn't really understand this or know what exactly to think about this minor sign, but I thought about it this way where someone could be like, Hey, come over, eat, eat dinner, blah, blah, and someone could put something on your plate. Your culture is like, eat, 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 do this, do this. And you're like, oh, I don't want that, I don't want that. Ugh, no, nah, I don't want to eat that. And it's like culturally maybe a little disrespectful to not take food from someone. Again, nowadays that happens more and more often, I'm assuming. I don't really know exactly. Again, just reading off different minor signs and curious about having a conversation about it. What do you guys think about it? I do want to know what you think in the comments because maybe you know something that I don't. Let me know. Another interesting minor sign of the day of judgment is that men will begin to look like women and women will begin to look like men. And this is interesting because how many men nowadays are super pretty boys where they're painting their nails, they're like metrosexuals, where they're again, it's this hyper feminine style. And even women talk about all the time where it's like we're in a sassy man era. But again, men are starting to act like women or look like women and women start to look like men. Even if you look at the transgender communities. And again, it's just interesting to see that this minor sign talks about it. What do you think about this? Another interesting minor sign of the day of judgment is that dishes will be communicating with one another. Dishes, how did the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, know that Tabba are going to be communicating with one another? And it literally transforms the dishes. But what do the satellites look like? They look like dishes. So dishes communicating with one another. Interesting. So again, when you start to think about these minor signs of days of judgment happening and we see it in front of us, we're like, oh snap, maybe some of these are right. Maybe some of these are wrong. Who really knows exactly? Only Allah knows best. But it's interesting when you see this because then you're like, wait a minute. This is interesting. What do you guys think? And yeah, that's basically the list I have for the minor signs of the day of judgment. Not every single one of these signs is 100% guaranteed and we know exactly what it is. Because again, it's still in hadiths where it's not 100% fact. We have a pretty good understanding of it. And me personally, when I look at all these different minor signs, I tend to think, wait a minute. If some of these are already happened and they're so specific where it's crazy to think, wait a minute, a lot of these have happened. Some of these are so random and out of the ordinary that one can just imagine it and think like, oh, this is going to happen. But years and years and years and years later, we can make predictions. But again, how are you going to make a prediction from 1400 years ago? Imagine predicting 1400 years in the future right now of exactly what's going to happen that exactly happened with a specific way. So again, this is something to look at and look at these minor signs and think, oh, snap, like the judgment is getting closer and closer. I need to lock it. You need to focus, do your right thing. Focus on the Quran, focus on Sahih, focus on the Sunnah, focus on all the right things you have to do. Because again, the main goal in this life is that is a test. The main goal in this life is to be the best version of yourself that you can be, the best Muslim that you can be, to pray to God. Again, ask for forgiveness. And these are the main things. And these minor signs, when I started learning about them, really got me closer to Allah, alhamdulillah. So again, I wanted to express that to you guys as well and just talk about them. And I'd love to hear what you guys think overall in the comments. And all the different things that you went through or saw, you're like, oh, that makes sense. Or, yo, what about this? What about this? I want to hear these different talking points. Because again, I love learning. I love having discussions and conversations. Thanks again for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. And inshallah, I'll see you soon. See you later.